Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Boy, it's been a while since I sat down to film. I have uh, been on vacation and my, I, I've been here where I live but I have uh, not been working. I have been off to my cabin a lot and just have not worn makeup that much at all. So I am filming. I was contemplating since this, it's like the end of July now uh, if I was going to skip updating the Pandas Eyeshadows uh, Project Pan this month but then I thought you know what I do have many rollers because last time, if you saw my last update, you know what kind of shadows, how many uses I had left on the shadows. So even if I don't, I haven't worn makeup that much this month, I still have rollouts. So I thought, you know, let's do an update now, roll some new shades in and then have a very like short um, period before the next update and so on. I, I wanted to do that for you guys and for me as well because I want to have some new some new shadows to play with. So, uh, Panos Eyeshadows is a project pan that was created by Lexi many years ago and I do this my own way. I work on six shades at a time. Uh, one is hand picked by me and the rest are uh, randomly generated from my very very vast eyeshadow collection. Um, Let's talk about some elephants in the room. I have a new, little new background here because I switched around some furniture at home and then uh, this, we have some new makeup storage in this room. This is not a new storage unit, but uh, we also have Freshen Up The Hair. I love it. It's perfect for fall. I feel like I'm matching my shirt a bit, but that is not... That was not the plan, I just had this sh shirt and wanted to wear it. Anyways, let's talk about the update because it is a good one uh, even though uh, I did not wear makeup at all or much at all in July. So, we have my color story here which is very very spring, uh, summer springy appropriate, also matching my hair very well. We do like that. And um, yeah, some of these shades have been in for a while and the last two I rolled in last update. So let's just talk about them. The first shade here is from my uh, Odin's Eye Trick or Treat palette in collaboration with Angelica Nyqvist. Uh, this is a very, very pretty palette. It has already been in this project this year uh, and the shade is called Poison apple, I think, or candy apple, candy apple. Uh, and I uh, had used it, I think, 16 times or something last month. And if you have followed my project or if you're new here, uh, I said like the ultimate goal is, of course, to hit pan. But if I use a shade 20 times, I can roll it out. So you will see what the shade candy apple has looked like throughout the months. Uh, I had used it but not that much um, like once or twice before rolling it into this project and uh, I do like I was able to work up a bit pretty big dip in it but like looking at the shade that I already have panning called full moon like I know that I won't be able to pan within 20 uses. It will probably take at least the double. So this is what we're looking like now. And you can see that we do have a little dip but um, not pan. Uh, I, have ha I have however used this shade 20 times and I am going to roll it out. Um, yeah, I just don't see myself working on this shade for like 40 plus juices just to hit pan. This is a pretty new palette in my collection anyways, so it's fine if I don't have pan in that shade. So we are going to roll out Candy Apple. This next shade is very, very light. It is like a... It has like a green, a very light green shade. Uh, and that one comes from my Made by Mitchell. Got, do you want some milk? 
palette. This is my hand-picked shade because I one a goal I set for myself this year was to hit pan in all of my... I have three of these big palettes or all of the, his big palettes. And this one um, was the final palette that I didn't have pan in, so I wanted to use this, pa this palette as a whole. I always say this, but when I work on, on shades, I don't just hyper focus on that shade. I try to use uh, all of the shades no pan left behind. If, however, there is a, a shade very similar to something in the color story, for example, you can see that we do have this orange shade here and we have an orange shade on my swatch. So I have not been um, going into that shade, but I tried to use all of the shades in each palette when I roll it in and this one has been an absolute joy to work on. I have really enjoyed playing around with the shades in this palette, not just this shade Milky that I have been working on. And I have had this in for quite some months. Uh, as you can see, I do have I did have a very very substantial dip last month, but no pan. I was like gaslighting myself thinking that I had pan, but then no, I I did not. So I have now used Milky uh, twenty five times, and this is what we're looking like. So hopefully you can see there that I was able to reach pan. Will you be able to see? It's so shiny. Yeah, there you can see. <sighs> These pans are very deep. So 25 uses um, and I was able to hit pan, but you can see how deep they are and it's the tiniest little pan there in the middle. But yeah, I've been loving to play around with this palette. I have been reaching into these pastels quite a lot. Um, I've been using this very nice green shade on my inner corner. Um, yeah, it's a really pretty palette. I do enjoy his formula, so I was happy to play around with this one, but we are rolling out Milky as well. Then the next shade here is called Tropic Like It's Hot, and it's from my Clarity Cosmetics Aloha palette. This is a perfect summer palette, uh, really, really stunning. And yeah, I have had Trop Tropic Like It's Hot in for the same amount of updates as I have the uh, candy apple shade. So, um, however, as you can see on from the progress pictures, Tropic Like It's Hot is even like it's pressed differently than the Odin's Eye shade. So even though I have used them both in tandem like exactly the same amount, I've been using Tropic Like It's Hot like in the crease and then Candy Apple on the outer corner. Um, the usage is not as evident as it was in the Odin's Eye palette. So I have been using Tropic Like It's Hot 20 times as of today. And this is what we're looking like. So yeah, there's a smallest dip, but these shades are deep and they are pressed quite firmly and they are very pigmented. So I was not able to hit pan after 20 uses and I will probably not be able to hit pan like within 40 uses. I will probably have to have this in for like 60 uses if I want to hit pan or even more. So I'm not going to do that to myself. Super nice palette, really love it, um, but we are going to roll this palette out as well. And this was what I expected last update. You know, I had four uses remaining on that shade as well, so. Uh, then we have this very beautiful uh, duochrome. It's like a purple to a rusty copper shade. And that one comes from the also very seasonal appropriate palette, uh, the Vitality palette by uh, Unearthly Cosmetics. Uh, it's a stunning looking palette and I was so happy to pull it out. Uh, the shade I've been working on is called Deluxe. And I don't remember how many times I had used Deluxe last update. Um, but I did have a very good dip on it and it worked perfectly fine with the other warm tone shades in, uh, in the rotation. So this is what we are looking like today. As you can see, we do have pan in Deluxe. These pans are not that deep. As you can see, I do have a pan here as well. So I did not expect it to be very difficult. I used Deluxe. Uh, 12 times to hit pan, so not that many times, but it is 
a very pretty palette. It was so fun to play around with and uh, yeah, very happy about that. So then we have the two remaining shades from that I rolled in last update. And as I said, I have not been using makeup that much. So I was a bit surprised when I actually saw that I have been using makeup uh, like seven times. Or no, I haven't used it even more because I had those shades as well. So around like maybe 12 times, but it is also like a month and a half since my update. So this shade here is called, is from the Juvia's Place, the Nomad palette. I don't think these shades have names. Um, but it was a bit annoying to roll this one in because last year I had a goal to hit pan on all my Juvia's Shades palettes. So I used them quite a lot last year and like, I can't seem to escape rolling in Juvia's shade uh, palettes. Nubious palettes into this project. So this is the fifth shade in this palette and yeah it's just a shimmer shade. It's a very nice like greenish gold shade because this palette is like leaning towards military green and um, yellow. Um, and I have used this shade now uh, six times and we're looking like this. So you can see that I do have a dip, but I don't have a pan. And I have two pans in this palette already. Uh, I don't really have an issue hitting pan on Juvia's shades, uh, Juvia's palettes, Juvia's place shades. God, can I speak? But uh, since I haven't worn makeup that much, I just have not had the usage to do so. But I think that like just push pushing myself ever so slightly, I might, I will be able to hit pan on this shade until next update but it's also like it's a very neutral shade and i do love my colors so but it's fine we can have this one in it's not a big issue so that one is remaining in the project and i will probably hit pan before hitting 20 uses on that one and then the final shade is this purple shade here and it's the shade positive from my be perfect and uh, dream big manifest palette this is a jump big ass palette which is with a little chaotic color story but I do really enjoy this one. Um, I have used this shade uh, seven times so one additional time. I do use it today in the crease and I think it is quite lovely. So after those seven uses this is what the, the shade is looking like. So, as you can see, there is a good dip. These shades are not, these pans are not deep. As you can see, I have pan here and in this one. And I think with very little effort, I will be able to hit pan in the shade positive. Uh, as, yeah. I don't think it will be difficult. I have been trying to reach for uh, as many shades from this palette as I can. Uh, obviously I have not touched this orange one because of the orange here, but um, it's fun to play around with. There are some very, very flaky shimmers in this one. Um, so that is a bit like you have to be a bit more mindful on how, to, how you use the shimmer shades. But this is on the on my thoughts about being the next panda palette in order. I haven't decided yet, but it might be. Let me know what you think. I do have some contesters, uh, so maybe you will be able to vote what, shade, what palette I should work on next. But that is the shade positive. So that means that we are actually rolling out four out of six shades, which is amazing, you know, because I have not worn makeup that much. So I'm going to swatch out the new shade, or we are going to randomly generate the new shades. And I will hand pick one shade. I have an idea of what I want to do, like the next goal that I will set for myself, but it depends on what I, what kind of colors I enroll. I will also travel. Uh, next week I will be away. And I don't, like, I... I don't know what eyeshadow I will bring with me, so depending on the color story and everything, but I am contemplating maybe 
um, trying to pan in all of my unearthly palettes, but I don't want to bring the unearthly palettes with me to travel, I think. Let, I will uh, see. We will. We shall see what will happen. But first of all, we are going to roll in three new random shades. So I have from one to three thousand six hundred and fifty-two. Now these days there are quite a few. So the first shade will be three hundred and forty-one. And if this is a dubious place. If this is a dubious place, I don't know what I will do. Three, four, one. <sighs> Three, four, one is a dubious place shadow. Who would have known? It's from the uh, the new band two, and it's the shade Madagascar. I don't know what that shade is. Isn't the new band two? It might be like a very very plummy red shade. Don't know what I, how I feel about this. Right, next shade. Two two nine nine. That will not be a dubious place. Finally. Two two nine nine. Oh, nice. Or maybe not. Two 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 thousand two hundred ninety nine is from my Gorman girls at that time of the year. So it's their like Christmas palette from a while ago, and it's the shade Cheer. So I don't know what that shade is, but okay, we will work on a Christmas palette in August. Absolutely. The final uh, randomized number or shade will be three three five zero. Oh, that is a very new palette. Okay, 3350 is from my Kaima Cosmetics um, Skulls and Roses palette. I do have a video on that one. I will link it down below, but it's the shade Savage. And that, sh that entire palette is very dark leaning, so I'm a bit scared. But I'm going to pick those shades out. We will see what the color story looks like, uh, or I will contemplate this color story. Pick a shade on my own, and I will be right back. A few moments later. Okay, I'm gonna veto a shade out. So, I am going to swatch why. Um, the, the shade from the Juvia's Place Nubian 2 palette, the shade Madagascar, is this neutral brown here. There we go. The shade Savage from my Kai Love Skulls and Rolls palette is this brown and I know they look different but I'm like I'm not working on two brown shades so I'm gonna uh, veto out the um, Nubian 2 because I was working on so many Juvia's Place and I already have two pants in this and this in this palette as well so I'm not gonna do that I'm gonna roll in a different shade screw you Juvia's Place randomization shit. Okay, I'm gonna roll 3000 G's. This will be a very new palette as well. 79. Oh, it's the. It's from the uh, Odin Size Spring Dragon palette in this shade Flora. Okay, I will look at that one and I will be right back. Alright, I am back. I have my new color story. So this is the color story we are rolling out. This is the new color story. So let's talk about the shades. So the two first shades are obviously the uh, old shades from this one. So we have that one from Juvia's Place and then we have the shade from the Be Perfect palette. This brown, as I said, it is from the Kaima Cosmetics Skulls and Roses palette. It's the shade Savage, and this palette, as I said, is very dark. But, I mean, it's a brown. It will be perfectly fine to work on. Uh, don't know how deep these pants are. I mean, this is a quite new palette for me, so uh, but it will be fun to have and play around with a bit more. And as I said, I do I do have a, a review of this palette, so if you want to check that out, you should look in the. I will link it in the description box. 
that is the shade Savage. Then we have this random green shade, and that is from the Gourmand Girls uh, that time of year palette. Uh, it's, as I said, a Christmas palette, but it is like I can work with these colors any time of the year, absolutely. So the shade obviously is the final shade here. It's called Cheer and it's that very, very green shade. I love green eyeshadow if you don't know me, but I'm a bit like torn on how to use it. I can obviously, of course, use it with the brown and with this dubious place, but that one will probably not <laughs> roll out until next time. But yeah, that is that shade from this palette. Then I rolled the shade, instead of the Juvia's Place, I rolled the shade Flora, and now the swatch looks a bit bad. But it's from the Spring Dragon palette by Juvia's Place in collaboration with Judy. I love the packaging of this one. Absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely love dragons. I am so incredibly hooked on House of the Dragon right now. It is insane how much I am enjoying that show. But um, anyways, uh, let's talk about the shade Flora. So it's this very like neutral pink shade here. So you have a more bright pink shade up there, but Flora is kind of muted. But I mean, it will be good to work on. I can use it in the crease very easily. Maybe try and use it as a blush. So that is that shade. And then the final shade, I was contemplating using one of my Unearthly palettes, but I think I'm gonna um, not do that quite yet. I want to uh, work on this shade called Candy Clouds, and it's from my Sugar Drizzle palette, the Sugar Dreams palette, because this is also very un not utilized, and I can bring this traveling, I think. I, will, I think it would be a good companion palette to bring when I travel. So it is like an all shimmer palette, very bright fun shades and I was swatching out, I was thinking maybe I should do this purple here or this purple here but then I settled for this one because I think it will work best with both that purple and this flora shade and I can also use this one with the green. So I thought, you know what, that will be the shade to work on, but I will of course um, reach for all of the shades in this palette as well. But that is my hand-picked shade. So that is it for this update. Let me know what you think about the color story. We are still like seasonal appropriate. This is quite, maybe a bit more spring, but at least it's not, it's not very dark and gloomy. We are still like, I'm still trying to catch the summer spirit here, but August is typically when it cools down where I live and then it's just like full blown fall at the end of August. But yeah, I am excited to play around with these colors and uh, yeah, I hope that you enjoyed this video. Please say hi in the comments. I love to hear from you always and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys.